Welcome back guys and so today we're gonna smoke this catfish for my client. Come on, let's do this. So I started with getting my fire lighted. Yeah, I'm gonna use this grill right here. Yep. So there you see me using my steno as a little fool to help get this fire lighted. Yep. And then I started to pour out this fish. Yes, I wanted to take it out of the box to see what I got in there. Initially, I thought it was a whole lot, but it was just four huge catfish. He apparently went fishing, so when he got down, I was like, hey, can you grill this for me? I said, yeah, I got you. So, yep, that's what is happening here. Look at that catfish. Oh, my God. It was huge. And yes, the best way to get catfish washed pretty well is using salt or lime. And I didn't have no lemon at home or lime, so I used my salt, which is the other option you have. Yes, and I had to rub it in to take all the sliminess of it. It was pretty much a job to do because catfish is pretty slimy. Yep. After that, I put in my water. There you see all that water going in to the fish. Yes, I got it all in. Pour, 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 pour the water. Yes. Yep. And then had to just wash it all out. I mean, that's how you do it. You got to do it do it the best way so I washed it all to take all the sliminess out and get it all cleaned out yep and this is fresh fresh fish no preservatives no chemicals nothing fresh fish from the lake yep and then yeah you go go my last one out and then had to do the magic. This is where the little science I learned in school came to play. So, yep, shopping my life a little bit and then started doing the butchering. So, basically, what I did was to take out the guts, yep, and um, get it all cleaned out. Because, yeah, most of the people that I've seen do this back home in Ghana don't usually take it out, they leave everything in there. But yeah, I paid my client, he wanted everything cleaned so um, I can, um, so he can pretty much enjoy it. So that's what I'm doing. I cut it open in the stomach area and literally pulled out all the nasty stuff, the intestines and all of whatever they got in there, took all of it out. Yes. And this fish is pretty tough. I can tell you that. It was really a tough fish, so, um, yes, got to really, yeah, there you see, getting it all out, it was tough, yes. So still on it, and there it comes out. Look at all that. Nasty. <laughs> you don't want that in your stew or soup or whatever. Yes, took all of it out. Every bit of it. And there you go. All clean. Pretty. Good job, Elfie. Good job. So now was the dressing time. Had to cut up some of the fence and um, the little, little, um, yes, anything that was hanging, the nose, all that. It was still slimy. So I managed to dress this fish pretty well. Give it a little good cuts on all the areas that wasn't needed. Yeah. Like I said, it was pretty. A job to do. So, yep. And I believe, and I know I did a good job. So still on it, cutting every bit of it off. Just like that. And yes, all done. Yep. And so, 
yep jumped onto the next one and like that bit by bit i got every bit of it also cleaned out so now it's time to do another washing to rinse it pretty well for the last time so yep that's me pouring in the water yep all done and don't worry about my serious face that's how i do when i'm working yeah <laughs> it's a serious work so i got in got it rinsed yes you can see yes if elfie's doing it it's going to be done right and done well yeah same thing with all the others there we go all done to the very last one yeah So at this point, I was going to season it. And you all know I have a seasoning line. So I use my Miss Elfie Seafood Seasoning. Check out my seasoning on my website, www.misselfiecateringservices.com. You can get yours from there. Or just call my number and I will ship it straight to you. And then I added my oil yeah this will prevent it from sticking to the grill yes all of that going in there look at that goodness my god yeah cooking with so much love so yes i'm rubbing everything in there and making sure that yes it all gets seasoned pretty well so he's looking forward to get a jerk fish that's the main goal so it has to be seasoned so he can eat it just as it is when he receives it so it gotta be seasoned yes inside i didn't add no um hot spot because it wasn't like a grill they want a jerk so we didn't want to make it too much spicy or anything like a simple spice and that's what i'm doing so this is like a light seasoning yep all done yes so let me go check on my fire yes fire is ready and i had to spread it out so every part of the grill will have the fire i didn't want it to just center it in the middle all over it should have some sort of heat to get to the fish yes now at this point i had to just pray the grill to get it all um oiled up because we want this fish to just come off the grill easily yes i've had previous done this and the fish got stuck on the grill and it was just so sad but yeah i'm not repeating that mistake anymore so yeah this this girl's pretty oiled up and the fish also has enough oil on it so there it goes on the grill to make sure yes it's ready to smoke and you see all that smoky coming out yes this fish is pretty oily too so it's going to help it get enough smoke to to achieve the goal that we're looking for they want it pretty dried out so now at this point it's all done and the temp is on 360 so yep we're gonna let it go and you see all that smoke coming out yes i trapped it covered it so it all can stay in look at that to give it that smoky smell and flavor as well yeah this is all natural i didn't put no um smoky liquids or nothing on it i wanted to get it smoky from itself yeah this is my first review look at that look at that it's still in the smoking process it's doing great it looks good so yep and i came back after two hours to come check yes it's been a lot going on see all that boo boo yes it shows you how much heat it was in there yes so i was going to try to turn it over to make sure this was tough this wasn't really coming off easily so i was like you know what let me just get back to it later so um I started with the little ones to see how best they can come off. And this pretty did come off. There was a little bit left on the girl bed. Yeah, yeah, I would take that. And then do the same to every single fish 
on the grill to make sure that it all turned yes and it's not dried yet because we want it jerky so it has to be dried like really really dried out so um we're going to keep and um, allow it to smoke some more yeah and yes finally it came back to the big one and it did respond so <laughs> i was able to get it to turn over yes look at that yeah oh my god smoking fish is not a job for the faint-hearted yeah especially if you want everything to come whole and pretty you have to be super gentle to get it together so it's all turned upside down i'm going to give it another two hours to smoke yes so there it goes and i will be back yes it's two hours later and i came back and you see it's on 200 so it's pretty low smoky at this point you don't want the fire too high because then it's just going to get burnt and you will not get what you're looking for yes so there it goes pretty dried get in there yes pretty pretty dry now so all too soon i gave it my last smoky um badge of it and yes look at that smoke coming out oh my goodness yes it's all dry it's all jerky looking good yes so look i'm so proud of myself you all don't have any idea look at that fish man the most healthiest fish you could ever get yes so there he goes ready for my client yes i sent a picture to my client and he was so happy already so yep ready for delivery there you go yes so hit me up if you have anything of this sort and you need help just call my number and i got you yeah smoked catfish pretty pretty fish there you go beautiful yes here's my seafood seasoning get yours now thanks for watching miss Alfie catering services good food good mood